<laughs> Boy, do I look like a hippie today. I hope you guys are ready for a mega favorites video. We're going to be going over all of the greatest hits of 2016. We had so many good ones to consider, but I feel really good about these finalists. So I got fashion, beauty, and home stuff to go over, and I've got a lot to go over, so I'm just gonna be a little bit more concise today. But as always, I'll link everything mentioned in today's video down below in the description bar in case you guys wanna check that out. I'm also going to link my last video in case you guys missed it. Lots of big life updates and a huge, huge thank you guys to all of the amazing feedback you guys gave me. So constructive, so helpful, just so much encouragement. I just really thank you guys for taking the time to like leave me all of that, you know, awesome feedback. So love you guys to death. Grab a snack, sit back, relax, and let's get started. Kicking off our fashion favorites of 2016, let's talk about my top three handbags. In no particular order, my first favorite handbag is gonna be from Rebecca Minkoff. This is the Isabel Tassel Hobo Bag. I got this at the very beginning of 2016 and I originally bought it just for like the spring and summer season. I ended up using this guy all year round, all four seasons, which I thought was so amazing because what I thought was gonna be a very trendy purse ended up being a super versatile classic purse in my wardrobe. The leather on this bag is probably some of the best leather that I've seen on a Rebecca Minkoff bag. If you guys are on the hunt for a slouchy casual hobo bag, I this definitely is my top recommendation and I can't wait to whip this guy out for 2017 again. Moving on to handbag number two. This is the sister to that bag. This is also a Rebecca Minkoff. I feel like I don't even need to introduce this bag because you guys have seen it a bajillion times. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Vanity Saddle Bag. I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I've probably featured it in like every single fashion lookbook ever since that sale. I seriously like had a love at first sight moment when I first saw this bag. I was on the lookout for a new saddle bag and I just love like the relaxed, kind of casual slouchiness. And then I also like to use it as like a top handle bag like this in addition to the crossbody strap. Definitely more substantial in terms of size. This one I say is like a strong medium. You can fit a lot more in it than a typical like small mini size saddle bag. But if you are looking for a mini size saddle bag, they just came out with a small version of this guy. And guess who's already looking to buy which color she wants? And my last favorite handbag is going to be my Henry Bendel school bag. This was my favorite like structured mini bag of 2016. Anytime I needed like a sophisticated touch, this one was just a perfect outfit maker. Even though this guy is more of like a larger size mini bag, it definitely holds a lot. I've showed you guys the interior several times this past year. It can actually hold my big ass full size wallet. You can keep things organized. It makes great use of the space. For reals, this bag is just so classic and I just like how minimalist it is. And my my favorite accessory on this guy is still gonna be my Henry Bendel silken twilly scarf. I literally keep this guy right here on the top handle because I just think it adds the most perfect Euro chic accent. Moving on to my next fashion favorites of 2016, I finally found my holy grail sunglasses. These guys are from the Australian company Key. It's spelled Q-U-A-Y like Quay, but I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like Key. I've mentioned this in a previous favorites video, but the reason why these guys are like seriously the best is because they are are actually wide enough to fit my super wide ass face. I've got two favorite models and I have two different colors from each model. The first one is the Desi Perkins collab. This one is her high key aviators. I have it in the black smoke and also like the pink gold version. And then the second model that I love is called Meeting Frame. I also have these in the brown and the black. In terms of like the large spectrum of sunglasses, sunglasses I think can be so, so overpriced. No wonder they went so, so viral for about 50 to $60 a pair, you get a super high designer look. There's so many beautiful pairs to check out. I'm sure you'll find one that fits you perfectly. Moving on to like my third category of fashion favorites. Let's talk about some shoes. Dude, seriously, I could talk about shoes all day. It was so hard for me to come up with like my top four favorites, but here we go. <laughs> First pair are going to be my favorite pair of sneakers. I became a really big sneaker head in 2016 for some reason, and these guys by far were my most worn pair. These are my black Adidas Gazelles. I actually ended up wearing these more than my white and black Adidas Superstars, which is like the first time ever because those are like my like go-to sneakers all the time. The actual like feel and body of the sneaker, compared to the Superstars, you have more of like a thinner, flexible sole. And then the actual toe isn't like a rubberized toe. It's all like soft suede. So I found these to be more like relaxed and comfortable. I literally like have these at my door 24 seven. I wear them to go walk the dog, to go 
run errands, everyday use. And if you guys are also interested, I've mentioned these before. These are the Hello to Longer Legs foot insoles. In addition to being comfortable, these guys are really there for like aesthetics. They lift up your heels, exposing more of your ankle and making your legs look longer. I swear by these guys, I have the 0.75 inch ones and I literally have a separate pair for each one of my sneakers. Like I swear by them so much. I think they make such a world of difference, especially for you shorties out there who want a little bit of boost for your legs and your butt. Yes. Favorite number two is going to be my Summit Brody Platform Oxfords. If you guys are looking for a really badass cool menswear shoe, I just highly recommend these. The insoles have a nice little cushiness to it. The leather is nice and soft. Love the edgy cutouts on the side. I mean, I get compliments on them everywhere I go. Everyone always asks me where I get these shoes because they're just so cool. Love them to death. I want to wear them even more in 2017. Moving on to favorite pair number three. Let's talk about my favorite angle booty of 2016. Yes, my rag and bone Margo ankle booties. Take the gold all day, every day, rest of my life. The design, the craftsmanship, just the look of these booties are just so top notch. Every time I put them on, it's like an out of body experience. I just love wearing these. I just feel so confident. They make my legs look so good. They feel so comfortable. I've legit worn these like six, seven hours. In the high heel ankle booty category, these are always going to be my top favorites. But with all perfect things, there is always a catch. These suckers are so freaking expensive. Regular price for these guys are $500, but the secret is that I've never purchased them full price. I have this pair that I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I got these for $329. Still very pricey, still a big investment, but I still saved $170. And even better, I got this full black pair at Nordstrom Rack for only like $90. So if you guys are diligent and hunt like I do, you guys can find these at a more reasonable price. Wait for off season time when some of the colors get discontinued. Keep the sucker in your shopping cart, wait, prowl like an animal, and just pounce whenever the time and the pricing is right for your budget, all right? And last favorite shoe of 2016, I had to throw like a girly shoe in here. My favorite high heel pumps of the year are going to be from Vince Camuto. These are the taupe Barsha lace up pointy toe high heel pumps that I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Such an elegant shoe. It incorporates the lace up trend that's been really popular this past year, but you still have the nice coverage of a pointy toe. These are also insanely comfortable. You also have the nice zip up in the back so you can easily get in and out of them. And for a girl with six toes on each foot to actually say that a pointy toed pump is comfortable, I mean, that's saying something, right? <laughs> Next fashion favorites, let's talk about my favorite denim of the year. Again, I could have gone really in depth in this category because I'm such a jean fanatic, but I've got three different kinds that topped my list. If you guys are interested in like a 100% dedicated denim review video for 2016, definitely let me know down below in the comments. I did do it last year, trying to figure out if you guys would be interested in it this year, so just let me know. First favorite pair of jeans are going to be from Topshop. These are my Topshop Moto Lee jeans in the color black. And I literally wore this pair so much, I bought a second pair, both of them on sale, $40. And the big thing for me was honestly the fit and the length. They actually come in tall, regular, and short lengths so you could get a really customized fit. These guys just have a very simple distressing. You just have these singular rips on both knees. A lot of my other black jeans are very super destroyed, so I feel like this one has like a nice balance. Then my second favorite pair is going to be from Old Navy. These are the Rockstar mid-rise jeans with the built-in sculpting technology. Old Navy pricing spectrum. These guys are definitely more premium at around like $50 a pair, but the denim is completely different than their regular jeans. When they say sculpting, they are not kidding. This is some of the strongest elasticized denim power with like just awesome, comfortable mobility at the same time. If you guys are into jeans that have like Spanx sucking in power and don't want to spend over 50 bucks, you guys gotta check these out. And then for my third and final pair, these are my favorite designer jeans. These are my my AG jeans. There is a specific style that I only buy. It is the legging ankle, super skinny ankle jeans. I got my first pair at the very beginning of 2016 and then I just kind of like try to buy them on sale throughout the year. In contrast to the old navy ones, the denim on these guys are more soft. 
off. They're weathered, they're faded, they feel like they have been like perfectly like vintage worn down, but also has great retention power. There's never any sagging. You also have that nice really fitted look throughout the leg. And if you're a shorty like me, definitely look for the legging ankle because you're gonna get that 28 inch inseam where once you cuff it, it's gonna be the perfect length and you don't have to hem it. And last but not least, my final fashion favorite of 2016. Again, I could have made this video five hours long, but I had to pick my very top favorite most worn items. And I couldn't make this video without talking about my two favorite jackets. God bless Blank NYC for making the most kick-ass jackets at amazing price points. I've got two different ones. First jacket here I got during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. This is the Blank NYC Easy Rider Motorcycle Jacket. Cool, edgy, badass hardware accents of a motorcycle jacket, but the faux leather is just like the best quality. It looks like real leather. It almost like wears down and gets soft like real leather. Ah, so amazing. You cannot go wrong with this guy. Then my second favorite jacket Jacket. You guys have seen this guy also a bajillion times. This is my blank NYC morning suede jacket in the color coffee bean. A real suede jacket will seriously run you up to thousands of dollars and for 188 bucks, you literally get the same high-end designer look and quality. Definitely another favorite classic jacket to have in addition to this one. Both of these guys come in a beautiful array of different colors and for under 100 bucks and under 200 bucks, you guys are gonna get so many seasons and so many different outfits out of these guys. I love you, Blank NYC. Ah! Moving on to favorite home items of 2016. Item number one is going to be, yes, I know, I'm sorry, I can't shut up about these things, but everyone stops me and asks me about them, so I am gonna talk about them. My pop sockets are seriously one of the most handy dandy things that I've added to my everyday life. It has made life so much more convenient, and I even went overboard and actually bought two of them because I like holding it with three fingers, and also whenever you're propping it up, it just gives it more balance. Your home item number Two, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how many times a baby humidifier has made it on my channel this year. <laughs> Got this guy a few months ago and it has been my favorite companion during these winter months when I'm just like super stuffed up and sick all the time. I love it for just overall aromatherapy, just for like stress reduction. For under 20 bucks, this guy does the job so well. If you guys have cold weather or have dry air, this guy is such a must have for your nightstand. Favorite home item number three, this one is so freaking lame, but I have have to call this out because I've recently become so addicted to Epsom salt baths. If you already need to wash yourself, if you're already gonna watch that 30 minute TV show, might as well just turn on the bathtub, put in a few cups of these, sink in the bath, and just let your body relax. It is one of my favorite ways to like just de-stress, detox, and allow my muscles to just kind of unwind. Next favorite item, I gotta talk about my favorite teas. These guys are from a company called T Forte, and these are the Single Steeps Loose Leaf Teas tea chest, a nice variety of the most exotic, delicious flavors. And then I use these guys exclusively with my Kati single brewing system. This guy is also from Tea Forte. It literally brews the perfect cup of tea for you. Seriously, I just love cracking open this box and just trying a new flavor every day. It just feels like a nice little special me time. <laughs> oh, and if you guys are curious on some of my favorite flavors, the cherry marzipan is probably one of my all-time my favorite flavors from the T4 tea line. I also love anything from their Noir Black Tea Blend. They have more like luscious flavors like chocolates and caramel nougat. And then for the herbal blend side, I think my favorites would have to be lemon lavender and then strawberry apple. Last but not least, my favorite home products of 2016. I literally had to write a list because I have so many items from ebags.com this year. <coughs> I have the eBags toiletry bag, packing cubes, professional slim backpack, companion duffel, TLS mother lobe weekender backpack, the 21, the 25, and 20 inch wheeled duffel bags, and finally, I also bought my mom an eBags vertical mobile office. If anyone is affiliated or works at eBags, this is a blatant cry for a sponsorship deal, please. Jeremy and I have dumped so much money in the eBags brand this year. We completely got rid of like all of our 
travel luggage and committed 100% to the eBags brand. I honest to God, I'm obviously not sponsored. Every single thing that we bought from them, we ended up loving. So we just kept buying more and more. It was just so staggered. And the more that we fell in love with the brand, the more we kept looking for more products. And all of the design and the materials hold up so well during travel. Everything is meant to be like super space saving, super efficient. Everything just becomes so well organized whenever you travel. I love every single one of the products that I have. If you guys seriously want a review on all the e-bag stuff I have and you want me to just kind of go through all of them, I would love to do that for you guys. Just let me know if you guys are interested down below in the comments. Beauty product number one is going to be my favorite toner. I featured this also, you know, amongst all the other things I've shown in other favorites videos before. This is the Sun and Park Beauty Water, and this is my favorite toner of 2016. If you guys are a fan of Korean skincare, I highly recommend this toner. As you can see, I'm definitely like making my way through this bottle. And this formula in particular is just such a great balance for me. Not only does the papaya ask. <laughs> I almost said ass crack. Papaya extract to help break down those dead skin cells, help reduce the oil, control your excess sebum, yet also maintaining a nice moisture level in your skin so that it's also baby soft. Perfect thing I need for my skin that has so many different like personalities. If you guys are looking for a really nice premium Korean skincare toner, definitely check this out. It has a cult following for a reason. Beauty favorite number two, this is also a Korean skincare product. I got this early in 2016 from my friend Morgan from Morgan's Beauty Breakdown. This is actually my second jar. I loved it so, so much. I actually used it just like a little bit in the beginning of the year and then heavily during these like past couple months. They call the formula like a sorbet-like cleanser. So it feels just amazing. It glides on your skin and melts off all of the gunkiest, thickest makeup on your face. Never have any irritation. It also leaves your skin very supple and moisturized. Moving on to beauty item number three, I found my favorite matte lipstick in 2016. This is actually not even a lipstick. It is a multi-stick. This is my Bite multi-stick in the color Cashew. This formula literally has powder infused in it, so that's what gives it that beautiful matte finish, but it seriously never dries out your skin. You guys know I don't really do lip products too much, but this one has been one of my favorite colors that I've ever found for myself. It is very rare for me to find a color that I'm just like, oh my god, that looks so good on me. If you're looking for something that's matte and nude, I highly recommend and looking at their regular lipsticks and their multi-sticks because they have a multitude of beautiful nude shades. Next beauty favorite is going to be like a combo duo here. I invested in some new face brushes from Sephora this year. These are number 90, 91, and 92 from the Pro Featherweight Brush line. These are highly dense but incredibly silky soft brushes that I use every single day. These with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Finishing powder has given me the most beautiful velvety finish to my skin that I never thought I could have. It gives me just that perfect little thin veil to apply to my skin in little layers so I get the perfect coverage without overdoing it. Oh my god, what have I been doing? I'm going to be on the hunt for a drugstore dupe to this guy. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know down below. I'd love to do a comparison video in the future. Next beauty favorite is going to be another tool, the Real Techniques Makeup Sponge. This is like their version of the Beauty Blender. Switched over to this guy because it was so much more cost effective and honestly, I don't really see too big of a difference between this guy and the Beauty Blender personally. So I just switched over to this guy. It was just more cost effective. And I also really like the flat diagonal surface on one of the sides. It's not a complete egg shape, but this guy really covers a lot of surface area and pats more flatter surface better like my forehead and my chin. If you guys are looking for some savings and also really like the makeup sponge, definitely check this out. All right, you guys, that does it for all of my favorites of 2016. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. As I mentioned, everything including my sizing and pricing details will be listed down below in the description bar. Can't wait for another year of exploring and experimenting and learning and teaching and growing with you guys. We're gonna have a whole slew of new favorites in 2017. I'm sending you guys so much love and thoughts of gratitude and productivity. I hope you guys are having a good first week back. Love you guys so much. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll talk to you guys in a few days. Bye!